your life. Hi everyone. This is Maureen Kamari of Amari Baking Center. We are live. Yay! Yay. And Ellie is joining me behind the camera. Yay! Hello. <laughs> okay then, so today is the day before the business masterclass that we'll be holding tomorrow at Bomb Blast Conference Park behind Bomb Blast Park. Please, please, please make sure, even if you don't win a ticket today, you show up. Make sure you book. You have to book. Um, deadline to book is today, 5 p.m. And it's 1800 and just anyone who's watching this live and books today you can book for 1000 so just mention that you saw the live discount and you can pay only 1000 shillings okay so make sure you join us tomorrow uh, we'll be there with bitches mutero and we'll be learning about lots of ways of growing your business how to take a business from small home based to you know making lots of money so that's a good thing so I'll be there, Beatrice will be there, and all of us will be there tomorrow. We might have to see it again. We just got one person. Alrighty. So, thank you very much for joining me. This is Maureen Kamari of Amari Baking Center. If you're just joining me, yay, hello. So, today is the day before the master class, okay? The master class tomorrow is all about how to grow your business and scale your business. If you're doing business from home, it's a home-based business, baking business. If you're doing a small business, um, this is a master class for you. You're just going to learn how to grow your business, you know, how to set up your system, how to market the right way, just so that it's earning income, huge, huge, huge business, okay? Hi, Beryl. Also, hi, Beryl. Hi, See you tomorrow. <laughs> So it's going to be great. Make sure you join us. Beatrice Mutai will join us like in the afternoon just to give some insights on how she grew her business. Yay. So you don't want to miss out on that. So if anyone is watching this live, I'll keep mentioning this the whole time, by the way. If anybody's watching this live, you get to actually only book, if you haven't booked, for 1,000 shillings only. And the deadline is 5 p.m. today. So please make sure you book. Okay. So you just inbox us or just comment on this uh, live. If you want us to, you know, if you want to book, and we'll explain to you how to do it, okay? Hi, one zero. Hi, you know? Hi, Shiro. <laughs> Thanks Hi, for joining me. Hi, Mariam. See you tomorrow, all of you ladies. Thank you for joining me. So, yeah, so today I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a simple fondant flour, okay? Because um, I know lots of us, or many of us, are getting into fondant and we want to learn how to make our own flowers instead of having to buy them. So some of you may know this technique, for those who don't, I'm going to be explaining how to make a lily, okay, a simple fondant lily using like tools you can find at home, so that it's just a little simple for you. So I'll just show you a really, really simple method, how to do that. So, um, anyone joining us, say hi, lots of likes, lots of loves. Hi, Evelyn! <laughs> Yay, Evelyn who? Mamushka, hi, thank you for joining me. Awesome. And Carrie so, Kim Joseph. Hi Carrie, how have you been? It's been very, very long. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> okay then, so I'm going to get right into it. Alright, so I'll show you the tools we need today and then I'll just get into doing this small demo. And I'll do a few times just for anyone who's coming in. So first I want to show you um the tools I have. I just have like a little fondant mat. These are really helpful, like silicone mats. They just kind of stick. If you don't have a perfect surface, they're perfect for doing fondant stuff on. And then we're going to need like little plastic rolling pins for fondant. So that's just something plastic, something hard, just to roll your fondant using. I have a small knife just in case I need it. And then I have a love heart cutter, cookie cutter. And then I have a tiny, small, um, round cutter. Okay, so this is what we're going to be using for uh, our demo today then what we need is some fondant so i have some fondant here just some nice white fondant that i pre-made i'll be showing you a link to you know um how to make this fondant i actually have a link for the recipe okay so i'm just going to get started so to get started i'm going to be using cornstarch what do you want to know where can i get such fondant mats mats okay so these ones we actually got them from jumia jumia.co.ke I think they were like 504 but they were on sale now we're actually looking for larger ones we got these small ones but they're really nice they're perfect for doing like um little flower things like these ones so just go to jumia.co.ke and i think you just type in silicone fondant mat and they should pop up pink and i think somebody also has a mamushka has like a blue one that's little uh, a little large 
and it's just 500 and delivery fee or you can pick up yourself if you want okay so gonna get started so you can also use a little cornstarch um, just so that your fondant doesn't get so sticky so I put a little cornstarch in I'm just going to knead this just a little bit um, just to get it nice and smooth and workable all right anyone else joining us any comments Carol Beatrice Maika she says you're looking lovely thank you very much Beatrice Maika Maitha. Oh, Maitha. Hi, Beatrice. Thank you so much. So nice of you to say. All right. So my my fondant is getting really nice and smooth and pliable. And sometimes I add a little bit of oil just to get it nice and shiny. Just so that... Let me move this. Just so that it can look smooth when I'm done. Okay? So this is my fondant it's nice and ready so before i actually start working on it i want to show you the other tools that I'm, I'm going to make at home myself so i'll just cover this with like a nice cloth so it doesn't get dry now here these are the cones i'm going to be using for my lilies okay and as you can see they're made so simply just to just to show you how to make it if you want to make like a cone like this so you can use for your lily uh, making at home just take as you can see it's like i use sort of like an old a4 paper and we're going to fold like this okay just to make a cone and i put some masking tape on it get this open masking tape okay so basically shaping a cone and then I snip off like these extra ends. Okay. This guy, I'm trying to make it stand straight. Let's move this out of the way. I'm trying to make it stand straight, straight nicely. Let's see. Ah, a little wobbly. All right, something like this. So you see how simple it is to make that cone. Very simple. Okay, all right, so I'm going to be using these cones to actually put my flower on there. All right, so let me get started kneading a little bit more <laughs> just so I show you what to do. All right, I love your top, it's tops. Thank you. Daniel. Oh, thank you, Mudani. thank you so much, tailored. <laughs> thank you for joining us, I appreciate it. So, using this little um fondant rolling pin of mine i'm going to roll this out and fondant does stick even though it's nice to dust a little bit of cornstarch but sometimes i don't want it to be so dusty so i'm just gonna keep doing this all right so i can dust a little bit here okay so we roll this out as thin as we can get it Okay. And you can also do this with gum paste if you want, but keeping it simple today. Alright, so I take my little handy hat tool, right? And I, this time I'm just going to cut twice. Okay. Alright, let's try and take these out. Alright. Means what I have just in case it sticks. I like these mats so that when it sticks, you can help your fondant move. Okay, no cornstarch. So now we stretch this love hat out just a little bit, just a bit. Okay, then I bring my cone here and my very wobbly looking love hat. <laughs> And that didn't work. Let's use this one. All right. So this love hat, you wrap it around your cone like this. All right. And just taper this end somehow like this. Okay, I hope you can all see all around. 
So we're going to leave this here. It'll start drying, which is what we want. Okay. Then I'm going to roll out a little bit of green fondant. Just a little bit. A little bit of green. Okay. So I take my little um, circle. Cut it in half. I'm sort of trying to give the the back part of the flower I mush it a little bit sometimes to look realistic so we stick this around here okay all right so final step is we're going to upturn these um, the sides of our petal if we may call it eh? right, let's see if it's going to work so just keep working on it up turn these sides like this until it looks like it's sticking up and then make sure you tip at the end yeah see all right i'm gonna do the same on this so taper these sides so the point is for this little flower of ours to dry up this way okay all right so we're going to leave this here so it's going to dry this way. So I'll do one more. One more. I'm going to clean up this one now. Maybe take a look at that lady a little bit. Okay, so I'll roll this out again. I'm going to take an alka fondant, a small one. Knead it a little bit. You always have to knead your fondant before using it. And if it gets really, really dry, you can always, you know, depending on the fondant recipe you're using, put a little bit of glycerine. Uh, if you have a fat-based uh, fondant, maybe put a little bit of uh, oil so it looks a little shiny. But like weather like this, my fondant is very soft, so... I don't have to worry about that right now. Anyone else joining us? Judy right there. Hi, Judy. Judy and Jerry. Hi, Judy and Jerry. So many Judys today. <laughs> Very welcome. Thank you for joining us as I roll out my fondant. Okay. So, once again, love heart cutter. Okay, I cut that out. I bring my cone we're gonna use another cone so my love heart looking this way this part is the part you bring up here very close to the edge and then you wrap it around sort of taper these ends over here and if your phone is a little dry you can use water but mine isn't so it's sticking together so easily and then I had actually what the second half of this circle. Since we lost the other part over here. So we wrapped this little green thing over here. It gives a literally a really realistic look. Okay. Then now once again we upturn these corners. So you do it slowly and carefully, especially when your fondant is real nice and soft like mine, until it sort of agrees to do what you want. Alright, so just sort of taper the end and using your fingers sort of um, pinch the edges of this petal so it upturns a little bit, like so. Fondant to dry it a little bit. That's why it's getting a little bit of skin there, but it's good. Okay, so I'm going to leave it this way. Okay, I think we can do one more. So just we have a nice set of three hanging around. Let's take a look at that. And I need my fondant. Make it nice and smooth. A little bit of oil just a bit so get it nice and smooth so 
like I said, these mats make it easy. You can do fondant anywhere. Um, or just get a nice flat stainless steel table. And we can continue. All right. All right. Last cut. We need that little round thing. Do we have it here, Bobby? Yes. <laughs> Bending down. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> thank you. Uh, putting the last lily. Catherine and Vita. I'm in the office, but learning. Hi, Catherine. Thanks for joining. Office time, yay. <laughs> You Margaret well. Mina watching from Samburu. Hi Margaret, all the way from Samburu. Thank you for watching and joining us. I hope you're learning lots. So I add this little half circle to the end of my lily over here. So we're just doing a basic, simple kind of lily flower. I love lilies, they're my favorite flower, so I love doing these. Taper these at the end. Yes. Okay, so this one came a little bit, is really, really, really soft, but... Me and Hazy and Applied, <laughs> watching from Kikuyu, I wow. love baking. Wow, hi, who? Min. Min. Hi, Min. Funny. From Kikuyu, you're closer to us, we're in Dwaru Road. Karibu sana. Okay, so we're making lily flowers, thank you for joining us. Trying to get them dried up. So what you do is just kind of leave this out because you know fondant over time when it's outside of course it dries out so we're gonna leave those to dry out as we figure out how to do the inside um i think it's called a stamen if i remember my biology stamen. Stamen, <laughs> if i remember my biology correctly tomato tomato you know tomato. <laughs> okay so as i wait for those let me see if one has dried okay we're just gonna leave that there so I'll clean this up. Just take a look at those for a minute and we'll be right back. <laughs> You've been says if today's question is what's your favorite flower? I've answered it's lilies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not answering that question. Hi, Mamushka. I am not asking that question. I've changed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's too easy. <laughs> now I don't know what question to ask. <laughs> All right then. Koki Mutua, I'm watching, following oh. for that chef jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Koki, it's been so long. Sama <laughs> kuditupa. Hope you've been well. Happy New Year. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> I think I'll start charging my uh, tailor for a commission at this rate. <laughs> All right then. So last final part we're gonna do the inside of our lily okay so like i said i'm keeping it simple today so this is the one we did first and, and as you can see if you see me touching it's really 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 dry so i think that I, I'm, I'm feeling safe enough to remove it from that cone and so what you want to do is sort of do the, the stamen the inside part of a flower so just get like a small piece of fondant and it's going to be thick on one side and really tapered at the end. And, you know, most people wonder, like, how, how do I know the length of this stamen usually? So just kind of um, use this little trick where, depending on the size of my flower, oops, since I've sort of tapered the end, I kind of go three quarters, or almost, you know, like three quarters really, there. So I know it's going to end around here, okay? So I'll just pinch this off make this a little flat even though i think you can you know this is just an easy way to do at home there's actually a tool for making these lilies but you know if you have a paper masking tape at home you don't need this tool most of the time so i pick up this lily of mine carefully so you can see how it looks like on this side right and then use this really fat side kind of goes inside so if you have water you can use that to stick that our fondant is really, really, really breaking today. So, 
find like some little cup or some eggshell container or something to stick there sometimes i use papers to just make sure this thing sticks or a piece of fondant like this because i want this little stamen to stay up like so so i'm just gonna leave it this way so just check that out okay so we're going to make another one right um okay two questions yes questions okay yes um min says i don't know how to make fondant from scratch so i'd love to know okay i will send i will be sharing a link for a recipe for the fondant that i'm using okay i have a link on my blog so right after this live we're going to repost this video and i'll make sure there's um a link to go to that fondant recipe and you can try it step by step on what to do and then brenda beal b uh -huh. <laughs> from kiricho okay she says keep up the good work yay thank you very much brenda welcome asante sana <laughs> okay then so i'll put the next one so again we sort of pimite see where it goes three quarters leave me some space i just taper off here and then i'm just gonna lift this very slowly actually you can just overturn your cone and hope it doesn't stick like this one this is a little stuck <laughs> for lunch problems okay all right then so bring this little thing of yours uh stamen as we called it it is this is sticking out a little bit. So we're gonna, all right, we're gonna taper this again. Hey, Mani Kirago says hi. Hi, Faith. Thank you for joining. <laughs> Patience Abdullah says hi too. Hi, Patience. Thank you for joining us, Karibu Sana. As we do that, you can look at that. So at least that one stuck a little bit. Sometimes your fondant can be a little tricky and a little uh, temperamental, like today due to weather. We just keep working on them over and over until it agrees, basically. For those bakers who use fondant, you know what I mean. So we'll try this other one. Just overturn this. This is a pretty one. It's nice. I use my little stamen. I stick it in here. This is behaving really nicely. And then I just kind of, you just kind of want to leave them here to just kind of um, dry out and stay this way. Let's see if we can move this one. Yes. He's agreed a little bit. Okay. So just leave them to dry. And if you're doing any kind of decoration on your cake, you want to do this ahead of time. So you don't have to have all this stress of like doing flowers and then have to put them on the cake right away. So you do the flowers before and then after that, you know, put the fondant on your cake and you're ready to go. So I'll be showing just in a minute how to sort of assemble it on a dummy cake. Just how to put it so it looks really, really, really nicely. So yeah, so basically that's how you make, uh, really you just need a love hat cutter, a small tiny round cutter, cone made at home. You know, you don't have to buy this. You just need a paper and masking tape and scissors and you cut this little sucker if you can find a cone at home by the way that's like this same thing just use those and most of the time i end up keeping this because we practice so much in the class um so yeah just make sure you have those a little knife if you need it but you don't and then just somewhere to put your flowers like if you have an egg tray or egg crate you can just put it in there that actually works okay and then there's monster jimmy who says i'll be waiting for the fondant recipe definitely i will make sure i post um so just stay tuned after i we do this we always repost this video sorry we lost the other one but we'll make sure we don't lose this one so we'll repost and we make sure we put the link in there so you can just click and you go see the fondant recipe from scratch and mine's a glucose syrup icing sugar um margarine kind of recipe so uh really nice and easy to follow anna otieno hi anna Okoth, watching from busia hi from busia yay awesome thank you so much for joining us so Thank you so much. So that has been our tutorial today. I think um, for today that's going to be enough. So the last thing I'm going to do is sort of show you how to assemble it on a cake or a cake dummy. And then you can sort of see um, how it looks like. So today, once again, I had mentioned before for anybody who's just coming in, two things. One, we have a master class tomorrow. And um, for those who are attending, yay, see you tomorrow. You know, for those who haven't booked yet, if you book... 
and mention the masterclass or sorry the facebook live discount you only pay 1000 shillings okay so comment on this post inbox and i will show you how to you know pay for the masterclass and you can join us tomorrow and the other thing is that i'll be giving away a masterclass ticket okay so stay tuned don't go anywhere i'll put this together and we can just ask questions with this so only one price today i hope you're ready your fingers better be ready to type okay so <laughs> final thing how to put this together so let's just assume I didn't cover the whole cake. So we're going to assume this dummy is our cake. Okay. So if we're covering our cake with fondant, we need to put these flowers together. And it's so, so, so simple. You can use two things. You can either use royal icing. Okay. Just put a dollop of royal icing. Or you can just get a, like a wet piece of fondant or just like a soft piece of fondant. And it can be what your flowers will be lying on. So for example, I just pick up this little lily flower of mine. I've covered my cake uh, with fondant. I'm done. So I just kind of, you know, make sure this lies. So when you're a cake decorator, it's, whole, it's a whole lot of art, let's say, and symmetry. But it, it, you know, it helps having something hold your little fondant flowers. Okay. Here's our misshapen lily today. <laughs> All right, so you just kind of work this and find a way to make it stick on there. Okay. All right, so you can set it this way, or if you want, you can maybe have this one set above. So just make sure you arrange your two flowers nicely. Make sure your fondant is behaving nicely, unlike this one, and it's not breaking apart. So there we go. There's our arrangement of really flowers. Okay, so I hope you can all see it really nice. Let's go round. These are lily flowers. And so that's the easiest, most simple way to do your lilies when you're at home. Just make your fondant, get your two tools, you know, and you don't need this mat. You know, the mat helps, but you don't really need this. So, yeah, that's how you do that. So, I hope everybody has learned something. Any questions on the lilies? There's a lily making tool for anybody who wants. People like Topserve, I think, sell them. But they're not always available. So if you just want to use tools at home, that's what you can use. Okay. So that's our... Any comments? Any questions? We're good? Okay, then. So, my goodness, what am I asking today? Huh? Let's see. Today I'll be giving away one masterclass ticket. Okay, for the masterclass is going to be tomorrow and I'll be asking one question. So the first person to answer that question is going to get that masterclass ticket. Ellie, what are we asking today? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't really know. I can't ask you what my favorite flower is because I know somebody in there knows what it is. <laughs> oh, I know what to ask. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you don't know. <laughs> What do I ask today? I don't want to ask a really, really hard question. Oh, um, uh, let me see. Oh, I know what to ask. So, the masterclass tomorrow. Where are we going to be holding it? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Where are we going to be holding the masterclass tomorrow? Attendees of tomorrow? Don't answer. <laughs> <laughs> Only people want to attend tomorrow. So, any responses yet? Mm, Who knows? Yen says she'd love to join. Awesome. Just join us tomorrow anyway, you know, pay 1000 send to our till, join us tomorrow. We'll have so much fun. Refreshments, snacks, lots of learning, meeting lots of bakers and bakerettes. It'll be so much fun. Join us, even if you don't win today. So please make sure to join us. Any answer? Nobody knows where it's going to be? Maggie Chega says Bombless Nairobi. Woohoo! Maggie, you have won the ticket. Yay! <laughs> a happy dance right now for you <laughs> awesome Maggie Chaga. feels like cheating <laughs> Maggie Chaga is not cheating she's not coming <laughs> she wasn't coming now she is <laughs> thank you so much Maggie it'll be so nice to see you tomorrow I haven't seen you in so long so if anybody want to ask anything ask now I will be sending a link I'll put a link for this uh, for lunch recipe. Thank you so much for joining. I'll make sure I also put a link for our event And if you want to join us tomorrow, please it'll be 1000 if you mention the live Discount, okay Deadline book by today 5 p.m. And join us. We will have so much fun. You won't believe it. Okay. 
So it's been fun. Thank you so much. Bye. See ya.